Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another spirit message tip. And this was all about the power of positive thinking and why the power of positive thinking is so powerful and what it's actually linking you to. So I know a lot of people talk about positive thinking, positive thinking, um, no matter what's going on in your life, because it keeps you in a higher vibration, a higher octave. And then you have, you're actually attracting higher level thoughts, higher level guidance, higher level uh inspiration um because quite literally and they were giving me a lot about why that even works and how that works and how it can work for you and what to keep in mind so it's almost like if this if say this is our baseline like where this is when you start thinking negatively it's almost like we have two poles on either side and when you start thinking negatively it almost feels like you're attracting more and more things to be negative about and you start sinking in your vibration but if you're here and you start reaching for the positive it actually brings you up higher and higher and higher and this is the divine octave right so they were always saying if you're ever in a moment and you're thinking what is how can i raise my vibration they were saying the missing ingredient is always more love uh, reach for the love, the higher thought, whether it's for yourself or another. So say you're consumed in a moment, you're here. If you reach for the love in a sense of a higher thought, a higher, more positive thought, it will lift you higher. Now, this is not to take the place if you naturally have a baseline that brings you down. You know, that's when you're talking about medical, biological issues. Of course, seek professional help, but normal, you know, the average is a baseline here and you're either being pulled down negatively, but when you search or just reach for a higher thought, you're automatically gonna go higher and higher. And in this realm, you're actually linking with the divine. And that's the piece that people were not touching on ever when they're talking about the power of positive thinking, why it's so powerful. You're linking with divine energies, right? When you think about when your thoughts are resonating on the octave of love, of tolerance, of acceptance, of forgiveness, of all those higher octave feelings, you're actually opening up and you're actually vibrating higher. You're quite literally raising your vibration. And when you're negative, you're going down and it's very easy to pull more negative thoughts. So they always gave me, if say this is your baseline at the bottom of the Y and you feel yourself going down, if you catch yourself sooner, it's easier to turn it around with a positive thought and go right back up rather than wait until you shift. That's why they always say, really pay attention to what you've been thinking, what you've been feeling, your energy shift, because you do wanna be highly vibrational and your thoughts are such a doorway and a key because you don't realize our thoughts. We have like a thousand thoughts in an hour. You don't realize what are you thinking that's pulling you either down or up and you always wanna do up. And you're gonna, if you're very aware and awake and really, I don't know, really paying attention to you, what you're feeling. If you even catch that, you feel like you're sinking low, just stop for a second and be like, what have I just been thinking? Because then you could turn it around and start thinking higher. Now, why this is going to be very powerful is that they're saying people don't put this spiritual piece in there is when you're higher, now you're vibrating on this higher realm in this active, you're actually linked with divine, with source, with the universe, with with it all. So this is where divine knowledge is, divine inspiration is. That's why when you're higher uh, octave, when you're vibrating higher or your thoughts are highly elevated, you're going to receive the divine wisdom, divine inspiration, things to be productive with and carry out on this level. And down here, you're not, which only adds to you're not feeling productive, you're not feeling inspired, blah, blah, blah. So they're saying it's easier when you feel yourself the shift what have you been thinking what you know because it's very easy it's almost like they're two like we have magnetic poles that drag you either higher or lower so it's easier to catch yourself almost in the pink area show some more love realize uh, what to reach for more love in that moment and uh, shift yourself higher it's easier to turn your thoughts around the thoughts are such energetic you know, everything in our body is electromagnetic. And so when they were saying, when you're reaching for higher, it keeps you in a higher, um, literal higher vibration. But more than that, what they were saying is you're then linked more with divine and open to receive. And then you'll, you'll get the support, love, guidance, inspiration, additional things to do and think. It, 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 it just, like what you think expands, just like if you go down, it can feel like it's quickly expanding 
when you did this. What's interesting was, say this is your baseline and they were saying things that are lower vibrational, you'll feel a shift in depression, right? You go higher, you're gonna feel more linked to divine, to the energy, to source, to, to the infinite, the possibilities, you know, it's so expansive because you are shifting higher and linking, quite literally, you're linking with the higher uh, octaves. So what you're connected to, it's so highs and lows. And what, so this would be like the depression and what they were showing is, cause I didn't, I, I have anxiety. And uh, so my thing was learning how anxiety feels like this, right? You're so overwhelmed and scattered. It's almost like you can't shift yourself higher. You're just, you have to calm this down first and then you can go higher. It's like static almost. Anxiety is like, you're so rattled in the physical. It feels like this, you have to calm it. And then it's easier. If you think about calming first, then you can reach for higher. So this does not, what I want to say, it doesn't take the place of medical or anything biological. You might be suffering that everybody has a slightly different baseline is what I'm saying. Some have it easier than most. They were even saying it's like sometimes people have a natural baseline here. Some have a natural baseline a little here, over here. So you're gonna know that. Like I already, when what they were giving me, I, I felt like, okay, I come in here and I'm feeling all this energy. So I, my whole life, I always picked up so much energy. I felt like this from other people's energy. And so they work with me on calming so that I can go higher. And even if you don't technically suffer from that, there are things that happen in your life where you feel like this, the first thing to do always is calm and then reach for a higher thought. If you're sinking down uh, below, that's depression. Most people, you do have to get help because you don't wanna go so far down. But if even if you're a regular baseline and things shift you low and high, you're gonna just wanna pay attention and always choose, like it says, choose happy, choose the more positive thought. They said, if you're here and you wanna go higher, choose happy, choose the most positive thought because it will bring you right back up. And you can catch yourself on the everyday 24 seven where you're gonna feel, what you've been thinking affects how your body reacts and feels, your energy, your whole energy. That's literally what they mean by your vibration is your, your energy is vibrating. So you can be almost like a barometer of your own energy. You could feel where you are and reach for those higher thoughts. And this will build and you link up with the divine intelligence, divine possibility, divine inspiration, divine guidance. And this becomes so beautiful feeling that you're gonna be even more aware of the shift. Like now at this point, when I start feeling like I'm thinking too much negatively, it feels so awful, like very drastically awful. Like the highs and lows feel so awful that it's almost inspiring to remain at the baseline and going higher. Um, you're gonna find this out for yourself, but what I'm trying to share is everything that I've gotten over the years and put into practice or with, and it's not just a one and done. You know how people say, oh, let's treat depression, let's treat anxiety, let's reach for higher thoughts. Like you read a book, you're done. No, this is 24 seven as things happen in your life because you could have, you could be up here and your baseline, something happens in your life and you feel here and all of a sudden you feel yourself thinking it's to know, let me do something positive in the moment. Like they said, almost like a cook in the kitchen. The missing ingredient will always be love. Add more love, whether for yourself or for another, you're gonna have to show yourself a higher level of love and compassion. Bring that up, like add the more love like an ingredient for yourself. I always say to people very often, something bad happens, we have to be on our own side. You have to really reach for the love for yourself and, and almost uh, really be there for yourself. And that's a whole journey in itself. Not beat yourself up, not add to it, you know what I mean? So, and then they're saying, because here, I'm gonna end it how I began, why it is so powerful, the positive, powerful thinking, because it literally raises your vibration and you are connecting to the higher levels of love, higher levels of inspiration, guidance, support, infinite possibilities, divine intelligence, it's everything divine is up, is in the positive high vibrational. So you wanna remain as high vibrational as possible. And that is the crux of it of why when you read about positive thinking, but what is it actually doing? And what is it actually connecting you to? And you know, why it's so important. And on the 24 seven, like I said, it's almost like the pink line. This, if you're in here and you can either go higher or low and you can see that you're at the decision point, choose happy, go higher. Um, it's, it's a practice and it's literally, like I say, no matter what, like if this is whatever's in the physical, no matter what's going on, you add the love, so you're going higher. 
um, rather than lower. And again, this is not to take the place if you have a baseline that's lower, you need uh, professional help, medical help, whatever that is. I'm just giving you what they gave me to understand, like what a, a positive thought is not just, oh, a positive thought, you know, choose happy, but what is it actually doing and what is it actually linking you to and why is that so important? Because God knows I would not want to be here without my link to here, right? Because that's going to be your sanity. That's going to be your love support backing. That's going to be your divine intelligence, your divine knowledge, your divine wisdom, your divine guidance. This is going to be everything um, to navigate with, to get the, so that's why you feel so disconnected. And I think that's even adds to the depression and why we sink is because we feel so, so disconnected. A lot of things that I feel like when I look around and I'm like, wow, these people, like things, they must just feel so disconnected. And of course that would be so depressing, right? It's like, you want to be as connected as possible to, to hear, um, in this, in this video. So this is what they wanted me to share in some way, shape, or form. I know it's like a huge concept, and but there were very practical things. And believe me, this is a very 24-7 all the time. Be very aware of your barometer, your energy, because it's going to show you where you are on your baseline. Reach for the love. That's what they said every time. The missing ingredient always is love. It's as simple as that. So if you feel yourself here, reach for the love for yourself. Like if you wake up and you feel kind of negative, reach for the love. Like what can you do in this moment to add more, literally the missing ingredient? What can you give yourself in the moment to be more loving, more kind, more compassionate, more optimistic, something? Because it's gonna link you to what you wanna be linked to in your life. Um, all right, so I tried to uh, explain the best way possible, a cheat sheet of everything I was getting. I wish you the best, but that is why the power of why, you know, positive thinking is indeed so positive and powerful. It's really the link to divine and in the moments to choose happy. It, it's even beyond that. Um, and it's the best way to be there for yourself 24-7, uh, to be perfectly honest, and uh, linked with all that's here to support you along the way. So I thought I would try and put this down the best way that I could and I wish you the best to stay positive and uh yes all right take care bye-bye